Hello and welcome to the final topic of this second module which is the linear and circular pattern. We have already looked at the linear and circular patterns during the sketching entities and sketching tools in the module 1. However, in the second module we will be looking at this linear and circular pattern that we can add it using the features. And also then we will look at what is the difference between the linear sketch pattern and the linear feature pattern. So let's begin with a new solid model. I'm going to choose the top plane and start sketching on it. I'm going to also use the center rectangle to create a rectangle for the uh, first part of this video which is the linear features pattern. I'm going to choose uh, the dimensions here, uh, make it 300 millimeters by 150 millimeters. Click OK and extrude it by let's say 20 millimeters. Click on the check mark to finish up this solid model. Now I'm going to add another feature on the top of this existing solid models top face. So for that I will click on this face and orient the part normal to the viewpoint or also you can use control 8. Go to the sketch and let us say I choose uh, the rectangle again and place it on the uh, top left corner. Uh, also I can uh, dimension this. Uh, let's make it 30 by 30 and also for the distance from the edges uh, let's make it 15 millimeters each from the horizontal and the vertical faces all right so i'm going to go to features and go to extrude cut and i'll use the option of through all to cut it all the way through and that is how I can add the feature on the top of the existing feature. So our first feature was this boss extrude one for which we had used the sketch one and our second feature is the cut extrude for which I have used the sketch two as my sketch. So in the same solid body we have two different features existing and it is very important to have the features distinguished from one another before we start creating the linear feature pattern. Now I can go to the uh, linear pattern and you can observe uh, the linear pattern under the features tab so I'm going to click on it. So it asks for the direction 1 and direction 2 the same thing as we looked at it in the linear sketch pattern also. So for the direction one, I'm going to choose the longer edge. For direction two, I'm going to use the vertical edge. I will use uh, the number of instances as uh, four. And we will come back to adjust these parameters once we decide what feature that we want to replicate. So features and faces, or these are the faces to pattern or these are the bodies to pattern. So we can have multiple selections. We can also choose if we want to skip some of the instances. So in this case, the features, I want to select it, the cut extrude feature, or you could have just selected from the graphics area also. So the cut extrude feature, I want to use it and I want to increase the distance between the subsequent features um, let's say I choose 50 millimeters and I increase the number of instances to 5. And for the Y direction, if it goes in the other way around, we can always flip the direction to bring it to this side. I can also use 60 millimeters on the Y direction. And let's choose only two instances here. Okay, and then click on the check mark. 
So that is as simple as creating the linear pattern using the existing features. So in this linear pattern, we use the feature which was already existing here that we've created. Let's do the same problem by using different approach. I'm going to again go to file new part. On the top lane, I'm going to start sketching. Click on the center rectangle approach. And let's use the dimension as 300 and 150. Remember in the last uh, solid model that we've created, we had just created this rectangular sketch and then extruded it. And after that, we added another cut extrude feature by creating another sketch uh, in a separate manner. But here we will create a sketch in the sketching stage itself. And let's say 30 here. Uh, remember that we use the same numbers 30 there. Let's use 15 millimeters for the uh, distances from the edges and that makes the sketch fully defined. So now we have added the sketch during the sketching stage itself for the boss extrude operation. So now go to features, extrude boss, let's make it 20 millimeters and click OK. Now what we observe here is that we just have one feature boss extrude and the cut is already provided in that sketch itself. So there is no two separate features that we had in the previous problem. Let's say if I roll back the pattern and collapse these two features. So we had boss extrude as one feature and cut extrude as another feature. So there are two different features in the same solid body. But in this solid model we have just one feature and the cut extrude feature is kind of like absorbed into it so how do we do the sketch uh, or how do we do the uh, linear pattern in this case when we don't have that feature existing as we had it in the previous problem so we can go to the linear pattern again uh, let's do the same thing choose the directions where we want to create the multiple instances uh, we had used 50 millimeters there and I um, believe you used whatever the number of features that we want to use here we use 60 millimeters and now in the features and faces we don't have that cut extrude feature so if we use this uh, it's it's gonna be a little difficult to uh, apply this linear pattern here so we cannot use this boss extrude feature here so I'm gonna clear this selection and instead of using on this features window, which we do not have that cut extrude feature, I'm going to click on the faces to pattern. And now I can choose these faces one at a time. Flip the direction for the second direction and then click on the check mark. And again, we end up getting the same result as before without having that cut extrude feature. So you can still use this linear pattern uh, after the solid model is generated, even though you do not have that cut extrude feature. So you can do this linear pattern in multiple ways. One, without having that actual feature where you can make selection of the faces. And in the other case, uh, we had used the uh, two different features and so when we created the linear pattern we use this cut extrude as the feature while making the selection for the pattern to make the features from okay so these are the two different ways that we can make the linear patterns with or without the feature and now let's take a look at the circular pattern so I'm going to start a new part file and create a sketch on the top plane of a circle. Let's use the smart dimension to use the diameter as 200 millimeters. 
and let's extrude it by 10 millimeters. So this is the circular disk that we've created and we're going to create a feature on this uh, you know circular face uh, very similar to the uh, problem that we did looked at for the linear pattern. So I'm going to click on this face oriented normal to the viewpoint and I can click on the sketch to make another circle here. Let's use the dimensions for this circle. Uh, let's make it as uh, 20 millimeters and also let's use this as 75 millimeters distance from the origin and also I'm going to click on this center of the circle and the origin to align them vertical. That makes this uh, fully defined. I can go to features and either extrude boss or extrude cut. It's still going to do the same thing. Let's say I use the extrude cut and let's make it through all and click OK to finish that. So we can see that a hole has been cut on the uh, circular disk and we have the two different features to do that. Now let's go to the circular pattern as you can see under this linear pattern drop down arrow there are uh, various options available including the uh, circular pattern, mirror, curve driven, sketch driven or the table driven also we have the fill pattern and the variable pattern. So these are all the advanced uh, features that are certainly worth uh, to look at, but at the basic level, we should be able to do the linear and the circular patterns. So let's click on the circular pattern. For the direction, I'm gonna choose this circle as the reference. I'm gonna use the equal spacing, 360 degrees. I'm gonna make six instances and the same thing as before for the linear pattern, we have the options for either choosing the features or the faces to pattern, or we can even choose the bodies to pattern. So for the features, I will uh, use the cut extrude feature and based on the parameters for the uh, distance and the number or the angular spacing and the numbers we can uh, make use of that and create the circular pattern. So pretty simple uh, to use this. And again, very similar to the linear pattern, we can also create the circular sketch on the top plane, make a circle. Uh, let's say we use the same number as uh, before let's say 300 millimeters diameter of this. Also make another circle. I'm just gonna make 20 millimeters. Uh, let's make it 100. And also let's align the center of the circle and the origin by holding the control key down and then make it vertical so it gets fully defined. And then we're gonna extrude this, use the default 10 millimeters depth. So again, very similar to the uh, part that we used uh, in the linear pattern, we are creating another part that has the hole already created during the sketching stage itself. So there is only one feature uh, that is uh, available here. Unlike the earlier model where we had two different features, one was the boss extrude and the second was the cut extrude. So now here we have only one boss extrude. So I can again go to the circular pattern. Again, I'm gonna choose the direction here. Let's use 360 degrees equal spacing of six instances. And here we don't have the feature available to select. So I'm gonna choose the faces and select this inner cylindrical face and then click on the check mark to create the circular pattern 
So again, a similar approach, but just with uh, one without the feature and one with using the feature. So that is all for this video demonstrating the linear and the circular pattern and the module two as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.